Okay, we are about to meet a man who took 10 bucks and turned it into $350 million. Wow. Let's find out a little bit about him first. Ruslan Kogan is a young man in a hurry. He built his first computer at age nine and started his first business at 10. But when he launched his Kogan Technologies at age 23 in his parents' garage, he did it with no capital backing. He's perfected online sales of electronic products and much more. Now, at 31 years old, his fortune is valued at $315 million and he's turning Kogan into a global brand. Let's welcome him in. It's Lucian Kogan. How are you? Um, just before we get started, um, I've got 10 bucks here. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, we'll talk, we'll talk later. It doesn't have to be enough. $10 <laughs> to $315 million. How did you do it? Oh, well, um... I think Joe wants his 10 yeah. bucks. Do you want to It's not funny anymore. <laughs> It's taken a while. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, my God, you've become an overnight success. And I tell them, yeah, it took me 31 years to become an overnight success. So there's been a lot of ventures and a lot of hard work and along the way. Uh, but the, the thing that I'm doing now is Kogan.com, which is uh, by far the biggest thing I've ever done. And it's just blown up. People love online shopping. Mm. People love technology. Yes. So, yeah. I do. So, so who, gave you, who gave you that first ten dollar? No, that first ten bucks. Yeah, it, uh. <laughs> it, it, it actually wasn't uh, ten bucks. It all started at the age of ten. Right. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I earned my first ten bucks. So I think he's just going to get that. Yeah, uh. You ignored your mother's advice, didn't you? You ignored your mother's advice. She said, "Why are you giving up this great paying job and going off to do whatever you're going to do?" But you yeah. went and did it. Have you squared it, off with your mother? <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't win against your mother. <laughs> it, 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 uh, it was actually funny because when I was trying to explain online retail to her in 2006 and this venture that I was going to start with making TVs more affordable mm. and the direct-to-customer business model, she started crying. She was like, you've got a great job, great education, <laughs> and now you're going to be a TV salesman? What you wanted to do, what you proposed to do, at the time was pretty risky. No one else was doing it. Yeah. Why did you think it was something that would work? Uh, well, I assess every business idea on an objective basis. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, when I went round to business leaders at the time and I said, look, uh, getting TVs direct to the consumer online, save the money, people were saying, like, nobody's going to buy TVs yeah. online. Online is for books and CDs. People want to see a TV before they buy them. But I said, hang on a second, you've got a product that you can sell on specs. You can make it easy to compare. It's a high-value item in a small box. It makes a lot of sense in online retail. And I wanted to give it a crack, and it obviously worked out. We were the first company in Australia to sell TVs online mm. and the first to speak publicly about the benefits of online retail. And wow. while we're talking about television, how do you see the future of television? A lot is, a lot is changing. Essentially, every industry is becoming customer-centric with... Uh, with advancements in technology, the barrier to entries are going to be reduced. When you see the numbers come out about the most watched TV shows in Australia, they're completely wrong. The most watched uh, shows and artists in Australia are on YouTube. Mm. So it's all going to become about, you know, watch what you want, when you want, how you want. And we have a it vast was. YouTube audience for Studio 10. We do. <laughs> we have a massive there's, following. There's yeah. people that upload. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, might, I might have to take that 10 bucks. <laughs> There's people that upload a YouTube video and it'll get 10 million views. They're sitting out of their bedroom yeah. in Sydney. So that's, absolutely um, right. that's something that can't be ignored and the customer's the ultimate winner. So it's And Russell, the, the $315 million question, I guess, is how then do you, and coming from the newspaper industry, not to mention the TV industry, in fact, every industry I end up in seems to go under shortly afterwards. <laughs> but, um, but how do you monetize it? How do you make money out of it? Because you're someone who's made money out of the internet. The one problem with a lot of traditional industries, they go, oh my God, there's this thing out there, it's free for everyone, how do we actually stay alive, raise the revenue we need to keep producing stuff? It all comes down to the customer. Whenever you're thinking of a business model or a business, it's got to be customer-centric. What does the customer want? How do I create value for them? 
and uh, making customers happy is the hardest bit in business no matter what industry you're in. Once you've got a loyal following, a huge community and happy customers, making money is the easy bit. And well, is furniture well. next for you? Is that where you're going to go next? Um, we're growing in a lot of different areas. So when Kogan started, it was two products. Now we've got, uh, you know, over 10,000 on our website. So essentially we're a mass market model. So we mm -hmm. give customers exactly what they want, whether it be a TV or an umbrella hat, which mm -hmm. we sold 5,000 of in an hour. Hey. So <laughs> You need some fashion. I, I haven't seen any fashion on your site. Yeah, so... Uh, fashion is an industry that's getting disrupted by online retail at the moment and you've got some great r retailers in that space mm -hmm. but uh, we're open to everything as long as it's what the consumer wants. Ruslan, we've run out of time but uh, you have a great giveaway for everyone oh, in the audience. What? Each of you is getting a $50 voucher to spend on any Kogan hey. product. <laughs> And a Kogan 50 bucks goes a long way. That's a big voucher. <laughs> That's like $100 in real money. Yeah, let's <laughs> it for Roslyn, everyone.